So what we're seeing, Richard, not to throw to this sound of then-Senator Obama back in 2008 criticizing George Bush for doing a flyover of Hurricane Katrina damage. Listen. We can talk about what happened for a few days in 2005, and we should. We can talk about levees that couldn't hold, about a FEMA that seemed not just incompetent, but paralyzed and powerless, about a, a president who only saw the people from the window of an airplane instead of down here on the ground. He was criticizing for not getting on the ground when he was trying to avoid a distraction in a similar way that Hillary Clinton said she doesn't want to go there yet because she doesn't want to be a distraction. Does a different standard apply here, Richard? No, it's not a different standard at all. I think that was candidate Obama, and this is now eight years after President Obama, and there's a distinction between those two times. Here's what we know, and Mark's worked in the White House, and he knows that, is any time the president moves, and almost an entire city moves behind him. Beyond that, when he moves into a region, to like Baton Rouge, right, where the expresses are all shut down, or only for rescue vehicles, when the president gets there, those rescue vehicles can no longer move. Right, so the president going is it's actually hampering the recovery, Richard, more so than helping what the, the people recovery. Want. I mean, the Baton Rouge <laughs> newspaper, The Advocate, they're calling for the president to come down there. Okay, he has announced since then that he He's is going, going to be down there next Tuesday. He sent his Mark, Homeland Security you, Secretary and his FEMA director down there is, as well. This is what Hillary but, Clinton says as to why she's not going down there. She actually put out a Facebook posting say, saying just that. She doesn't want to be a distraction. She says, my heart breaks for Louisiana, and right now the real the relief effort can't afford any distractions. Okay, so based on Richard's point, is that fair? Of course not. Look, I, I, I want to ask Richard, were you saying that in 2005 when George W. Bush was getting hammered for doing the flyover? Were you were you taking on Barack Obama for saying that well, you can't here's see the thing. I, I, sky? Hold on, here, wait. It, the, 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 I'm not finished. Hold on. That when, when Barack Obama said that, you know, you can't see the people of Louisiana from a golf course in Martha's Vineyard. At least Bar at least George W. Bush was on his way home from Crawford from his vacation to manage the Right. Barack Obama, <laughs> yeah. No, they were both on vacation when the disasters happened. The difference is, and Barack Obama and has Bush met with his Homeland Security vacation. Secretary right, and Richard he's met with his FEMA respond. group. But one, the president has been over and over again every day with his Homeland Security Secretary, which has been to the region, as well as his so FEMA Bush. director. Wait a minute, that has also been to the region. What the news tells us from the Bush case is that the FEMA director was an utter failure um, during Katrina, which is a complete difference in this FEMA director. Right. Number three, and most importantly, and I think the most important things that folks need to understand, is and, well, even though Donald Trump went there, what because his plane was there, what safety plane couldn't land? What plane with resources couldn't land? Right. What police officers were taking off the street? Guys, helping look, with survivors. Listen, it's a devastating That's the situation. We it's know that there's 13 hypocrisy. deaths related uh, not at all, to this. But we'll, Mark, hold not on. at all. Hold on, hold on. We, we've, we've had our final political thoughts there. It is, it is absolute devastation down there, and these people have a long road to recovery. So we help everybody Absolutely. does their part and chips in. All right, thanks to both of you. Thank you. Richard and Mark.